Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here. Um, I'm filming a little earlier than usual, so I feel like my lighting's a little weird. I know you can kind of see. Let's see if I can adjust things. Anyway, if my lighting's a little off, I apologize. Uh, the sun is kind of shining down. I have a sunroof above me and that's part of <laughs> what's going on. So I have a haul. This is all things that I picked up at Target and at Walmart found several things. I don't normally shop at Walmart, but when I'm here with my uh, at my parents, there's a Walmart really close, and it's much more organized and less trashed than the Walmarts that are near me, which just cause me anxiety when I go in there because there's always so many people and everything is like it's they're always a mess. So I feel. Like, I don't mind shopping here as much as I do, like, back home. And then I went to Target a couple times and found some really great deals, so I wanted to show you those as well. Before I get started, uh, please do consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. Do you think about liking the video too, because that really does help out small YouTubers. And also, leave me a comment. Let me know if you've picked up anything or if there's anything at Target or Walmart that you think I need to be on the lookout for. Let me know. We'll start with what I picked up at Walmart and we're going to start with the hand soaps that I picked up at Walmart because these were actually, now that I'm looking at them, I'm like, these were more expensive than what I've been paying for Bath and Body Works soaps. So this first one was $3.48. This is the Packed Party Joyful Extra Bubbly Soap to keep your hands clean and ready for fun. This is strawberries and cream and I just thought, oh, you know, strawberries and cream sounds nice. It is a foaming soap and it is a 12 ounce, so I think it's a little bigger than the Bath and Body Works soaps, but, and the packaging was cute. That was really, bleh. I wish the smiley faces went all the way around it though, instead of like this great big thing on the back. Um, that, that annoys me just a little bit. And then the other one I got was 284. I'm looking at the receipt. This is Boardwalk Spun Sugar from Scent Theory and I thought, mm, I'll try it. Rainbow Spun, Sugar, Blue Raspberries, and Fluffy Marshmallows. And those all sound good. So I will try these and report back. I just opened a new soap, so it might be, it might be a little bit before I actually get around to trying these. Other things I purchased at Walmart were uh, from the Wet n Wild and Alice in Wonderland collection. So I picked up the a pack of cards. These are makeup remover wipes. They don't feel, super moisturizing which makes me a little nervous so they have green tea aloe vera chamomile and or chamomile and cucumber extract i probably will actually use these just because they are a practical thing that i can use and keep the packaging on i'm a huge alice in wonderland fan so i was really wanting to get these and i did order the pr set from alta but I was stupid and I sent it to my house by accident because I was not thinking. And then I had to go have have a friend go pick it up for me. Um, Cause it was like, it's delivered. And I was looking everywhere around here. Nope, I sent it to the wrong house. But this was not part of the PR package. So did get that. The other things they had that were not part of the PR package were these little gems and face and body gems. I'm not gonna be wearing these, but they were queen of hearts and I couldn't resist. These were each $6.98. So they were kind of expensive, I feel, especially for Wet n Wild. That's, I was, I would have expected them to have been at least $2 cheaper, but prices are going up, I guess. And then there's also the set of nail files. It says it's a six piece nail file set. So I guess there's two of each. Okay, that's nice. Uh, but all of them are kind of scratched up because of the way that the, the nail files are in here. So, and it says don't step on the moth rats, mom rats. And then I went and my mom was with me the second time because we were looking at the Barbie section and they had some stuff still and she's like, no, we're gonna we're gonna get some of this stuff even though you ordered it. So I do have extras. The first thing I did get an extra of is this Alice in Wonderland brush set. And I do really like their brushes. I use Wet n Wild brushes quite a bit actually. And especially like this size, this is a great uh, brush. So there are that, there's that set of four. These were $16.98 though, $16.98. I just, I can't believe it. And then uh, also she b bought another one of the makeup bags. I did order this one as well. This was not part of the PR set, but I did order it separately as well as the makeup sponges because I don't think those were in there or something. You'll, I'll see, you'll see my thing in August or September 
whenever I get it up and filmed. So that's what it looks like. It does have a handle. It's just, it's pretty plain, but it is see-through on the front. These were both $16.98, which I still think is a lot of money. And then finally, I picked up two of the palettes. There is the Talk to the Flowers blush palette and T Anyone bronzer palette. So since these are duplicates, I'm going to try to open them. I just painted my nails though, and I don't want to chip them. They say peel here. It is not easy to peel here. I had to cut them open. So this is what the blush palette T Anyone looks like. So that's what the front looks like. And then you have a couple sparkly shades in there and a couple of darker shades. So I will swatch all of them and then we'll do one swatch across all of them. And they look, they're very light. Um, so that's what they all look like. Definitely um, for a pale person like myself, this looks like a great palette. And then I just went back and forth and that's what they look like all mixed together. So. Um, actually, I'm excited to use that one. Once I finish using the one I, the bronzer I have right now, which I'm not a big fan of. I feel like the blush or the bronzer I have right now, it's a little too pink toned. It's the bunny one from Too Faced that they, it's like a leopard print kind of, so it does have some pink in it, but I, I've had it forever. So I was like, I need to use this one up next. Man, I had a hard time getting Talk to the Flowers open. So that's what the front looks like. And then we have the four shades. So you have two shimmery, th almost three shimmery, and then one that looks more matte. So those have more of a presence than the bronzers do. And then let's, we'll get a clean finger and do a swatch back and forth. That's what it looks like. So you could mix and match. I feel that these are all really pretty and I'm excited to try them. They feel soft and nice. They don't feel patchy at all. So hopefully they don't apply patchy. And those I believe were $8.98. So moving on to Target, that's all that I picked up at Walmart. It was mostly Alice in Wonderland. And then, you know, a couple soaps that I thought were interesting. From Target, I did pick up a, another Eco Tools Puff. These are $2.99, I wanna say. And I just, the one that I currently have here, which was a new one from Alta, I just don't like the material. It was like from their dollar spot, you know, the sweet and shimmer that they do in the holidays. Don't like it. So I was like, I, I want a new one. But then I decided to suffer through uh, the summer months with the one. So I had this one for the holidays. I'm, I'm excited about that. Then I picked up this guy. This is Mango and Lime from Love and Love Beauty and Planet. These were like 70% off. So I want to say these were $2.98, uh, this particular one. It smells really good. It does have that uh, sharp lime to it, but it also has a slight sweetness to it because of the mango. Also with that 70% off, I picked up the body spray in it. This did not have a cap, but I figured for $2.98 instead of $10, I would, you know, I could live without having a cap. Yeah, it's nice and like really bright. It's gonna be in your face type of a scent for sure. And then I picked it also up in a candle and these, I wanna say this was a little bit more than $2.98, but these were 70% off. I think they're $15 normally. And yeah, excited about that. And then I also picked it up a candle in watermelon and mint mojito. I like this better than the mint it doesn't smell as minty as the one that bath and body works did that was just too green i didn't like burning that one and then this one was also 298 this is the watermelon and mint mojito vegan body cream and before i found that stash i was at a different target and i picked up two of their uh love beauty planet this is when i got the puff these were both $4.98, they were only 50% off, but I did get a scrub and a cream because I just thought I want to try them and see what they are like and they were on sale and this is pineapple and papaya, which is a really nice scent too. That's it. It was kind of a small haul, but I was just kind of interested in seeing what they had and I thought glumping Target and Walmart together might be interesting for people to see kind of what's going on and what you might be able to find on clearance if you are out looking. Let me know how you are doing. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time.